Hi there, Microbytes. My name is Jonathan. I'm the children's librarian here at the Ashburton Public Library. Now, today's session, we are carrying on with our um, programming the Micro McQueen robot. Um, and in this one, we are adding on to our coding that we've already created in the last session. You can always click the link to follow that tutorial. Um, and we are now in this session adding in the code to utilize the little front two indicating LEDs. So, first thing you're going to need to do is get the logic block, if true. And we're going to add that to the bottom here. Oops, underneath there, actually. Okay, I'll just scroll down and make it a little easier. And we need this received number block. Copy and paste that. Oh, and I do need one more out of here, the equals. So if the received number equals. Now, if you haven't done already, we do have the gamepad tutorial as well. Uh, and we will utilize that to know which numbers to um, that we want to use. And um, this is going to relate to the A and B buttons, the A and B shoulder buttons. So this is going to be signal 9, and it is going to produce uh, LED lights. Oops, from here. LED lights. LED light button, that's what I want. Now what we want it to do is we, at the moment, all that would do is turn on the LED light. What we want it to do is we want it to be an indicator light, so we want it to blink, say, four times uh, when we click the button. So what we're going to do is we're going to say on, and then we're going to use the pause block. Pause area. And we'll pause for about half a second. And then we are going to turn the light off. So left, LED light left, turn off, and do that for half a second. Right, so what we need to do now is we need to say if we want to do that four times, we don't want to have to write that out four times, we can use a loop. So repeat four times, look at that, and you need to change it so we can drop that on there. So it means that when signal 9 is received, or in other words we press button A on the gamepad, then the little left uh, LED is going to turn on and off four times uh, and then stop, because it will stop on the off signal. So that would be good. Um, and of course we want to do it for the right LED as well, so that is super simple. We're just going to copy that entire bit of coding and chuck it underneath. And that is going to be for signal 10. And of course for the right LED. And that's all there is to it. Alright, enjoy running your indicators. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. See ya.